Hey everybody, Lisa the Pilates Chick here. Today we're gonna be doing a body blade workout. It's gonna challenge your balance, it's gonna work your core, and it's gonna work all those little small muscles that we normally don't get to in our gym workout. The best part is, it's less than 15 minutes long. So all you're gonna need is your body blade. So we're gonna go through some basics. So your blade has a wide side where it's a couple inches wide. And then if I turn my blade, you'll notice that it's parallel to the floor. And now the really skinny side, if you'll see, is facing you. Wide side, skinny side. The next one is hand position. You have your feet shoulder width apart. You're in a little mini squat for all of our movements. You can hold it palms down for some, palms facing forward with the wide part facing forward. And the last one we're gonna use is with the narrow side facing you, and we're gonna interlace our fingers for it. And most of the movements, the, the black part, the middle, is gonna be about chest height. So keep those in mind. Let's go ahead and start our warm up. So our workout is gonna consist of 30 seconds on the body blade, 10 second break, 30 second cardio drill to get us going to give your body a little bit of break from the blade movement. They call this driving the blade because you're basically oscillating these weights that are in the body blade and that's providing the resistance. Let's get started. I'm gonna start our timer off and just give me a march in place. Hold the ends of the body blade. That way we don't have to worry about counting. Timer's gonna do everything for us. Now, stand still. Give me a lift and a lower. Now if you have shoulder issues, maybe only lift this high. If you don't, see if you can't get your arms all the way to the ceiling. There you go. Now your core is tight. Think about a plank. So you're pulling your belly button into your spine. You have soft knees. You'll notice I'm not wearing any shoes. You can have shoes on, it's totally up to you. Give me one more and stop. Let's add some rotations, a little pivot of the foot. Turn and pivot. There you go, turn and pivot. We have two minutes left of our warm up. Our first exercise is gonna be the chest press. We're gonna hold the blade wide side facing the front and our palms facing the front. And I'll show you, we'll start driving the blade and get going. One more, stop in the center. Give me a knee up. There you go, your core is still tight. Your arms are nice and relaxed. It's my second time filming this because my camera didn't work. So you get like the better version, right? All right, let's add the arms up. Arm up, knee up. Arm up, knee up. Just getting the shoulders nice and warm. Preparing the body for the workout. Step sideways so you can see me. There we go. Give me two. Give me one. And release. Palms up on the blade. Give me a bicep curl and a step out bicep and step, curl and step. It's warming up the elbows now. Now add the curl and step simultaneously. There you go. Two, one, let's add those rotations back. Pull up your hands and rotate. Now this time give me a little push. There you go. Got 20 seconds left before we add that chest. Pause, squat, squat down, lift up. Now when you do your squat, your butt is back, your eyes are up, your belly is in, and you have a nice flat back from your head to your butt. And finish, stand to the front, wide feet, wider than your shoulders. There's our timer. Hold your blade, wide side front. Give me a mini squat. Start driving that blade. Push and pull, push and pull. It's all about shoulders, moving that blade. Now this will hit your rotators. 
keep your belly in. You can even stand up a little bit as long as your knees stay nice and soft. There you go. Pushing and pulling that blade and stop. Give me a march out. Give me those rotations. 30 seconds when that timer goes. Let's rotate. Our next one is the overhead reach. You're gonna put the body blade over your head, interlace your fingers, and the blade is gonna be long ways. I'll show you that move in just a moment. We have eight seconds left. Now keep going, your setup. Interlace your fingers. Put the blade over your head. Let's go. Drive that blade up and down. You're in that mini squat. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. Core is in. Moving as we go, 30 seconds. Eyes in, breathe naturally. This is getting your core, your triceps, all of those motions, pushing and pulling that blade, oscillating those muscle contractions without putting any load on the joint. Keep that belly in, hips forward, and stop. Whew. Shake out those arms, side lunge, put the blade on the floor. We're just gonna step sideways, reach it, stand up, switch. Our next one coming up is abs, chest height. We're gonna hold it, palms down. Once again, the blade is going to be wide down and the narrow part facing you. Seven seconds, keep moving, and stop. Get in that little squat, knuckles toward you. Drive that blade down and up. Get your hips forward, your belly in. Breathe it out. I love that little timer. It works great. Nice core exercise, belly to spine, hips forward. Push and pull as much as you need. Let those arms jiggle. I know it's jiggling all the spots we don't want to jiggle, but it's working our core. Breathe it out. This is a full body workout. Time. Whew, we got the reverse lunge. When that timer goes, give me a reverse lunge. Step back and lift that blade. Step back, lift the blade. Now, if you want a real reverse lunge, go down. If you don't, you're like, ah, oh, he and I have bad knees, take a step. You pick your poison, right? You can choose not to move the blade and just step back. Come on, stay with it. Behind the back triceps is our next move. I'm gonna alternate my lunges and stop. Put it behind the back, palms face away. Give me that mini squat. And let's go. Push and pull. Palms are away from your butt, knuckles towards your butt. Hips forward. Mini squat, belly in. Drive that blade. They call this oscillation. Remember those shake weights that they used to do? Similar concept but this is also used in rehab facilities. There you go. Keep it breathing. Stop. All right, we got a hip hinge. So if you're by a wall, grab that and put one arm on the wall, slide it down, extend the leg, change. Extend the leg. Now, if you don't need to, your balance is fine. Don't do it. I'm gonna use the wall a little bit. Just alternating. Bicep curls is next. Palms are gonna be facing you. Wide part of the blade is going to be facing the front. Grab your blade, hold it with your palms to you. Give me that mini squat, right? 
and drive that blade back and forth. Now your blade is about neck height. My hip is forward. My core is in. I'm pushing and pulling that blade, oscillating it back and forth. Come on, you got this. Get a good workout in. Mini squat. Take your feet as wide as you need. Time. All right. Give me a squat. Body blade is going to go between the legs. Give me a squat and a lift. I'm going to go sideways. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. Alternating arms in between the legs. Squat, lift. I told you we'd get those legs in. This is kind of like a row. Holding the side edge of the blade. Eyes up. Feel your bun jet. One more. Time. Give me that march out. Now, here's where we're going to hold. Narrow side facing the front. Give me a interlace your fingers, feet wide. Let's shake that blade back and forth. It's your whole body. It's like having a hula hoop on your hip. There we go. Whew. It's only 30 seconds. Keep it going now. If you need a break, you just stop that blade. There. Get that torso to move. Your belly in. Not doing so well on the top half. Whew. Give me a marcher out. Put that blade down. So we got our cool down. Just marching that. Getting our heart rate down. Cool down timer. Heel taps. Heel taps. Giving our arms that break. Now this is just our basics. I'll build upon the basics in your following workouts. I'm making this for a client of mine who has back issues. And another lady of mine who had a surgery on her abdominal region. So this is a great workout for it. Give me those toe taps. Nice and slow. Now go ahead and give me a march. And take it out. Take it in two. Take it out two. Take it in two. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is hoarse. I've been talking all day. Out two into smile it makes it better right and into out to last time in and give me a pec stretch flat feet open look up now round your back open look up round your back open it up Now, if you have that back issue, make sure you only round a little bit on the front. And release. Give me, cross your left foot right in front of your right. Take your left hand up in the air. Go against the wall if you need it for balance. Come back up, uncross right foot in front. Stretch away. My ceilings aren't tall enough for me. I gotta make a fist and come back. Find a wall, put your hands right on the wall, chest height. Stick your butt out, flat back, and just stretch. Take a breath, exhale it out. One more breath, exhale it out. Lower your arms, roll up your spine, it's still flat. Give me one leg forward, you're right. Hinge forward from your hip. No rounding of the back. Eyes forward. Tap your toe. Stand up. Give me your left heel forward. Hinge at the hips. Look forward. Take a breath. Exhale it out. Tap that toe. Stand up nice and tall. Stretch behind the back. Reach. Open the shoulders and grab your blade. We're gonna do one last one, timer's gonna go. 
We completed our activity. Reach your arms away. Now stick your butt out, hinge forward. Stretch those arms. Bring the blade to your butt. Stand up. Again, stick your butt out, hinge, flat back. Reach the arms away, lower. Stand up. Hey, I hope you enjoyed your body blade workout. It's a great balance challenge. It's great for your arms, for your core, without doing any crunches. Tune in for more workouts. Hit that like button, I'd sure appreciate it. Until next time, bye.